Baby, I'm about to play victim when you're not even the victim. Like, shut up. Hi guys, you're welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title, today I'm going to be telling you guys about an experience. And as I do that, I'm also going to be doing my makeup. So it's more like a get ready with me story time type thing. For today's video, we finally have a sponsor and that's the Online Makeup Academy. And I'm going to be telling you guys more about them as we progress in the video but i'm very very excited about this brand because it's very practical to me it's something that i have been needing for the longest time and as you guys can see <laughs> my makeup game my makeup game is it's not it's not from here at all it has transformed it has changed i've tried something new as you guys can see i even have eyeshadow on it's just it's just i'm very excited to tell you guys or to show you things that i have learned from the online makeup academy and so you guys should stick and stay with me and let's just hop right into the video so this is basically how it all began i want to give this person a name so we're going to be calling this person beauty so there was a time where or let's say maybe three years or two years ago it was around december and then i was in a group chat with two of my friends so that is beauty and maybe we'll call the other friend kindness okay so i was in this group chat with beauty and kindness and what happened was that we were making plans because december was approaching so we were making plans for december mind you we were very excited because we felt like we had not really enjoyed ourselves during the year so we wanted to you know go out and have fun you know the typical girl group when it's getting to december you guys are planning where you would go what you would do blah 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 so we were excited right and so as we were talking and saying oh we want to go for a specific party i don't really remember what party that was even but we were planning and we were saying that oh we want to go for this and we want to go for that beauty came and she said she's not going to go anywhere this december that's how she put it the kindness was very very upset about that like right off the bat she was like what do you mean you're not going to go out with us this december you're always flaking on plans da, 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 da. honestly from my pov or from where i was standing at first it was a joke it was all like hey wow so you don't want to go out with us and then she came to say hey so you guys won't even ask me why i'm saying i wouldn't come now let me tell you something i feel if you're going to flake on plans you don't need to wait for people to ask you why you're not coming i feel like as soon as you're saying oh you guys i can't make it it should follow up with an explanation or a reason as to why you wouldn't be coming. Beauty was expecting that we follow up and ask her what the problem was. I mean, she was expecting us to essentially beg her for an explanation or maybe ask her what's, the, what's wrong, what's the reason that you can't come, are you okay, blah, blah, blah. So I think the conversation was getting heated. Mind you, Kindness was very, very upset at this point. So she was calling her out and saying, you always do this thing why you like this da, da 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 so i was saying things like hey sorry we are not on your level ma like sorry sorry we're not on your level and when i was saying that all this time bear in mind you guys i was actually joking right but you know a lot of time conversation is misconstrued via text maybe if i was talking to her face to face she would have laughed it off but maybe she was already feeling like we were attacking her so as in beauty was already feeling like kindness and i were attacking her so maybe i would understand why she was already taking offense or whatever but i wasn't even upset when i was saying all of these things like hey we're not on your level that's why you don't want to hang with us so i was teasing her and she was like hey why are we saying that where where's this coming from blah 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 like that's what she was saying and i realized that she started to take screenshots of whoever we were discussing in the group and i was like baby girl why are you taking screenshots like what is this like the conversation ended there after the screenshots were taken and then we moved on you guys need to know that maybe we hadn't spoken to each other in about maybe a week plus we we, we had we had not texted each other nobody had texted in the group and nobody had reached out personally i mean i think i found out later that kindness and beauty were talking privately in their dms but myself and beauty were not talking at all because at this point i was kind of hurt like let me not lie of course i was saying i was joking and everything but i was still hurt by what she did because i want to give you guys a backstory there was a time in maybe 2019 at this time we were not friends with beauty <laughs> no beauty and i were not friends with kindness we had we had a falling out but we resolved that i'm saying this to arrive at something she was my only friend at the time my circle is really small and when i say only friend of course i had other friends you know how with friends you have the people that you talk to all the time 
and then you also have people that you go out with the people that you maybe go to church with the people that you go to club to the club with the people that maybe you go to school with like you have friends for everything or almost everything and you have that one friend that's all round and so i think she and kindness at the time were my all-rounded friends or maybe i had other friends who could be all round, but because of you know proximity how far they live from me things like that it wasn't very easy to meet up with them because if i should tell you this um kindness beauty and i all lived in the same neighborhood literally three minutes or five minutes away from each other and so we were all in the same space i need to say that i learned a trick about doing um eyeshadow which is always start from the waterline and basically draw a v so do you guys see what i'm doing and i learned this from an online makeup academy and honestly that's a serious life hack because whenever i watch videos on youtube on how to do eyeshadow i just see them doing the brush and i'm like they're not really explaining they're just showing you but in a sense you're not really understanding online makeup academy made me understand that oh okay so they're actually drawing an invisible v i'm gonna put the link to their website down below so that you guys can go check out how much it is to join the course trust me if you want to be a makeup artist professionally or you want to learn how to do makeup for yourself or you know just for fun they are the people to go to because you guys are gonna see after this that my makeup game has changed even if it has changed a little bit it has changed anyway back to the story there was a time maybe a year before this whole altercation happened she and i were supposed to go for dirty rave if you're in ghana you know what dirty rave is but for those who are not or who don't live in africa that's like uh, a concert that was held by mr easy and i was supposed to go with beauty like i literally bought tickets just because i knew that you know she told me she had a ticket and so we would go together and so that's why i bought tickets and even at that time i was going through something personally like on my own and so like i really really needed a friend and i just needed to be out and you know get my mind off certain things that were troubling me at the time so um we were having conversation you know the typical girl thing i'll text her and ask her if i should come to her side because i already mentioned that she lived five minutes away so i was like oh should i come over to your place so that we dress up or should i do this should i do that you know i was giving her updates oh when are we going to start dressing up when are we gonna leave what time is this gonna happen should i come to your place what are you wearing what should i wear you know that the typical thing that girls do when they're going to go out and so she was pretty much updating me on how her day was going and the time that we should get ready so i think we had settled on the fact that she would come to my place and so by this time i was getting ready told her oh babe i'm doing my makeup and she was like okay cool and i was finally done so i texted her that oh i'm ready to go should i come over to your place or what time are you coming so that i can order the uber for us to go so then she sends me a text and she's like oh she's so sorry she wouldn't be able to go because it was her her niece's christening and she's been working her ass off the whole day and she's like really tired da, 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 da. so she's not gonna be able to go yeah people can cancel plans but last minute when i'm even you know i'm dressing up i'm telling you about my process i'm telling you that oh i've done my makeup i've done my hair i'm getting dressed you know like i i i felt very upset like i was so pissed because then i was only the only other person i was going to go with was my sister and my sister and i yeah we're close but you guys i'm not gonna go out with my sister stand next to her and be jamming no i mean we can be in the same space but she's she has her friends that she has also planned to go with she doesn't want her older sister standing next to her probably even controlling her you get what i mean and so that was very very annoying to me i was like why would you do this last minute it's like all this while i've been talking if you knew that you had something to do that day you could have just told me so that even like maybe you could have said oh i'm not even sure i would go so maybe find another alternative or maybe just let me know so that i know that okay it's not going to i literally just said her name so that i know that if beauty is not going to go i can go with maybe anna i'm um, giving an example this is not really a person i mean even if it's a person it's just an example so, you know if i know you are someone who's always cancelling plans last minute already i'm sort of upset at you because i know that this is a character trait of yours do you get where i'm coming from so that's i think that's where kindness was coming from when she said you always do this like this is something you always do and beauty wasn't really understanding she was like what do you mean she saw it as kindness and i were ganging up against him we had you know some internalized hate i think i'm even moving too fast and not telling this story consistently what happened after this was that there was a silence like we didn't talk for maybe close to a week or two weeks nobody had texted anybody the group chat was dead like 
we were basically beefing at this point but you know girls we always fight and this was one of my closest friends so we always fight like fighting was normal and and us not talking maybe maybe we hadn't gone for this long without talking before oh by the way you guys i just remembered another thing about the online makeup academy is that once you sign up for their class you get pro benefits now what that means is that any of their partner friends say inglot anastasia beverly hills like all of these makeup companies or brands you would be able to get a 40 percent off discount from any item that you purchase from any of these brands that you know are partnering with the online makeup academy and so i think that's really cool especially for someone who's starting up you want to buy your products and they have been discounted uh, everybody loves a good discount i want to tell you guys another hack that i learned from makeup academy before i go on with the story how to draw a wing liner like drawing a wing liner has never been so easy for me i enjoy drawing my wing liner with eyeshadow because i feel like it looks more natural so now i'm saying that at this point we didn't talk for some weeks and and this was in december so my sister's birthday was coming up my little sister and she's also familiar with my friend beauty so obviously i would invite my friends she would invite her friends it's not really limited because you know just because she's having her thing doesn't mean i can't invite my people as well so prior to us having an argument beauty already knew that my sister was gonna have something you know so i think she already knew she was gonna come like it wasn't news like i was obviously going to invite her but now here's where i faulted because i messaged her after we hadn't spoken for close to two weeks now i messaged her and i'm like hey my sister is having her birthday thing so so and so time date you can come if you want and she replied and said if you didn't want me to be there you shouldn't have invited me at all and then that pissed me off because i mean if i didn't want you to be there obviously i wouldn't even invite you at all but you can you can tell that i'm mad at you we haven't spoken for some time so i'm clearly mad at you i still want to see you i still want you to come all that i'm giving you some type of energy that definitely she wouldn't appreciate i was wrong for that but i also expected her to understand that i was upset because i think in the in that conversation she was saying things like she doesn't even know what we have like what she has done to us and i don't like it when people are oblivious to things that they know that they have done and so that was also annoying me because i'm like well, how don't you know how did the whole conversation end you know how it ended so obviously it has something to do even if maybe you are not exactly sure where you faulted you have an idea when this happened why it happened and who made it happen when she was telling me all of that it was already kind of annoying me because i'm like ah, what does this girl mean by she doesn't know what she's done like, i mean how can you not know what you've done to me that bit wasn't making any sense to me and it was just like annoying me more <sighs> so that's when i decided that i'm going to explain to you what exactly happened because in that altercation like in our conversation she was saying things like we have something against her and it's obvious like that's what we are projecting or we have internalized like we have something that we have internalized and and we are just you know subtly bringing it out we've clearly spoken about her privately behind her back and i was like where is all of this even coming from like how like what's who's making you think like this and i'm like you sent screenshots to someone because you definitely took screenshots are these the people that are making you believe that you know we don't like you or we're being fake towards you what is going on let's talk about it like that's where i was coming from because i'm very very straightforward with her and she knows this so i was like i'm very very straightforward with you if i don't like that you're doing something i would tell you like there's no point of me cutting corners and you know pretending like everything is okay when things are really not okay like you guys get where i'm coming from and so i told her i was like you know i always i always tell you when i'm not happy with you so like where is this coming from and why would you even believe that i wouldn't do that when it's something i always do and she was like yeah that's true like i always do tell her but this time it's different and i was like oh my god like at this point I, I decided to go into my notes i'll i don't know maybe i'll put it up on the screen so that you guys can see so i decided to go into my notes and type out everything that was actually wrong because she was clearly misunderstanding the situation and what was going on so i decided that okay look i'm gonna let you know so i went into my notes and i started typing and i told her that this and this and this is what you've done i've inserted it so you guys can see for yourself you know i was basically just explaining to her that there's nothing personal this is not even something that we should be fighting over but it's just like a lot of hairs like we, we are not happy that 
you know this is what you've done and i think she also misunderstood when i was saying that we are no part of your league so maybe that's why she felt like we had discussed something prior to prior to the the whole altercation like do you guys get where i'm coming from honestly i had no ill intent no malice whatsoever i just i was just being a fool like i really remember that when she sent screenshots i sent emojis and i'm like we're posing cheese like we're posing for the screenshots we're taking i know it's dumb but like i feel like that should kind of let you know that i'm kind of playing around because i feel like with the way i am and the way i operate right i am very like if i'm angry with you you know i'm angry with you there's no need for me to now pretend like i'm not upset or be, i don't joke around like i'll never say something like we're posing for the camera so you can take the screenshots like i will never do that especially if i'm angry Pff, i will never do that i'll just call you out straight there's no need for jokes but so I felt like maybe we knew each other to a certain extent. So I didn't expect her to actually think these things. And I'm like, maybe this is something that she had been feeling had been feeling for a long time and she had never really communicated. So you know she... So at this point of the conversation, like it was getting very deep. She was telling me that, you know, we, she was going through a lot and we were not even there for her as her friend. And then I'm like, babe, how do you expect me to know you're going through a lot? If you don't communicate with me i'm not i can't read minds and i i, I don't know i just felt like i don't know and you know you know what at that point i just felt like she was trying to play victim at that point like now that i'm mature i sympathize with her but back then it was just even annoying me because i'm like baby i'm about to play victim when you're not even the victim like shut up <laughs> like that was me that was the energy that i was getting from what she was doing everything she was saying was even annoying me it was like just passing through my ears i was like you know what this girl's about to play that card and i'm not even ready for it as i was saying i went into my notes i typed out this whole paragraph explaining where i was actually coming from now this is where shit starts to hit the fan because okay if if i've explained to you or if i've taken my time out to send you a whole ass write-up explaining what it, what exactly is going on obviously it's coming from a place of passion hurt feeling love so many emotions for me to take out my time to type all of that and so i send her that and then she's like beauty's like i'm not in the mood you know what i'm not in the mood for this i'll read this one i'll read this i'll read this when i am or i'll read this later or something and that really pissed me off first of all yeah you guys can say that okay maybe she was actually going through something and so she just wanted to calm down honestly i would have preferred if she even left the message unread I'd have preferred to see a blue tick. I'd have preferred to see open on Snapchat, whatever the case may be. But that message just sun just sounded very catty to me. It was like, this bitch. Like you get what I mean. It was more like, wow. Like I've sent you a whole ass paragraph, and then this is what you text back to me. Like why are you chatting shit to me? That's exactly how I felt. Like I felt like she was trying to be catty, ch um, chat shit, and just you know be a mean girl because you know the conversation had kind of gotten heated and you can't blame me even if she didn't have any bad intentions in the heat of that moment i took it as oh okay you have brought the guns out you are ready to fight okay let's go like that's exactly how i took that and so when she sent me that message i was like you know what do not even bother and then i deleted everything that i sent her from snapchat and then i sent don't bother and she i think her next message was why did i delete it in my mind i'm like girl what do you mean why did i delete it so um so that happened and i didn't text her again after that now bear in mind there was a long silence like nobody reached out to anybody she didn't come for Marley's party this happened in december and now this is february basically after all the silence i think she did a yolo on snapchat and people were asking her what happened between us blah 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 i don't know who even did a yolo first i know i didn't know i didn't do a yolo first i know that my friend kindness did a yolo and then beauty did a yolo after kindness did a yolo and beauty also came to do a yolo and you know was responding to those questions and i think what was annoying about that yolo was that there was a point where people were saying very very mean things about kindness and i just feel like yeah we've fallen out but if if people are saying mean things and you're posting it even though you're not saying anything bad maybe you're not you're not responding you're not even typing anything just posting it is kind of it has it doesn't it doesn't look good it's like you want everybody to know that this is how someone feels about this person like do you guys get where i'm coming from 
and at that point i was close to kindness obviously kindness and i were still talking and it was almost like okay beauty had been kicked out of the group if you want to put it like that but it wasn't a we're kicking you out of a group kind of thing but basically because we were like a three girl group it was like okay kindness and i are not talking to beauty so that was really what was going on when she did that i was like ah, why would you even do something like this and the things that people were saying about kindness are not things you should put out there like posting that just sends a different message or maybe somebody's not thinking that i'm a kicked kofi someone is not thinking that i'm a kick kofi but as soon as you put it out there that i'm a kick kofi you don't say anything now it's gonna be in people's minds that oh okay so this is this is something that possibly happened and you also kind of posting it and not saying anything or even maybe writing something like lol or you know putting a gif something of the sort it kind of endorses that that thing is a possibility or that it even happened ah so she posted it and she was like laughing my ass off and like what's the point like why would you do something like that it's like i'm not the type of person to go on social media and bash my friend or say you know just put my business out there even though i'm doing that right now <laughs> but honestly this is this is solely for content and it's not even like it's something we've moved past let me just even say this before i continue it's it's there's no bad blood anymore it's just something i've moved past and i wanted to share the lesson that i have learned from this particular encounter so when that happened i decided to do a yolo i was ready for, i was out for blood honestly and i do not encourage that type of behavior i would never ever like looking back that was so childish and just so vile and sometimes i'm like you know this is exactly what happens when you let hatred or you know those type of negative emotions anger fill you up so that's basically what was happening to me i usually would share love and lies i'm not really out for violence like on social media especially like that that was so off-brand for me that, that's something i'll never ever do looking back i'm like ew the ghetto <laughs> the absolute ghetto so it's like why did i even do that like what was the thought process so like when you let these negative energy energies or these negative things fill you up you start to exude negativity and that's exactly what was going on and i don't know why but i was so angry i was so upset like this thing that wasn't even so deep at first now became deeply rooted like i was so pissed at her i was like why would you do that like we've been friends after all we've been through why would you go online and do that you know even though like she uh she didn't even really like she was beating about the bush about most of the questions i was just so angry with her i hope there are no harsh lines do you guys see harsh lines because one thing I learned at Makeup Academy is that there should not be harsh lines when you're doing makeup. Everything needs to look seamless. Another thing I learned from the Makeup Academy is that, you know, like you should always be hygienic. I know that I'm doing makeup on myself and so I'm not really thinking about the hygiene, even though I should. Um, because at the end of the day, it's going on my skin and the skin on the face is basically more sensitive than the rest of your body so you need to be washing your brushes you need to not be double dipping inside stuff you need to um, buy disposables like maybe my mascara like this if i was sharing it or if i was a makeup artist it's not okay to be using it from the, the container don't do that that's unhygienic you're just spreading or sharing bacteria with everybody so you can get a disposable wand just like this one take this off take this off and dip this one into it and then use it on the eye and then you throw it away even after you've used it on that person you shouldn't go back into it and then do it on the other eye that's if you know nah because you're just putting the bacteria back into this and everything you did was cost 90. right now i'm very particular i used to be the girl who never washes her brushes i mean not never but i, I know it's, it's not easy it's very stressful <laughs> but you know just to make make sure that your skin is in good condition and what's not anyway back to the back to what i was saying about my relationship with this girl i think someone even asked me something on yolo and what happened between you and beauty and i was like i cut her off you know and then i think another person said which of the beauties are you talking about and then i put in her her full name like her government name <laughs> you know i was just being catty like i was out for blood and i i feel so embarrassed by it because i'm like why exactly was i even doing that like what was the point of that why exactly did i do that it was just not a good scene i went too far and i i really really regret that because it's like i mean at the end of the day 
that was still my friend that's someone i still shared a bond with like we had good time and all of that and so why did i let the devil use me like that like that was really all i was saying because like literally as the day went by i started to feel regret for doing that i was like no i shouldn't have done this and that this wasn't this wasn't fair to her and um, even though she hates me i shouldn't have I, sh I just shouldn't have you know what i mean and so let's talk about the resolve because there was a resolve so i think maybe a year later guys a, a whole ass year later uh we we decided to talk because kindness found herself in beauty's room i don't know how i don't even remember how that happened but then i was summoned to come and so when i went there was a serious altercation like beauty and kindness were going at each other some people even came out of their rooms to look like it was bad and people got emotional because we hadn't spoken in a while and there was still anger that was kept inside for me, what I was doing there was that I wanted her to understand where I was coming from. I wanted her to know that it wasn't from a place of, oh, we don't like you. Or, I don't know. It just wasn't from a bad place at all. It was more from a place of, should I say care? Would, say, would care be the right? I can't even say it was more from a place of like care and just us, you know, really wanting her to be part of the group and her saying that she wasn't going to come. Because I mean, if we didn't care about you and you said we're not, you're not going to come somewhere with us, obviously we wouldn't even be fighting like i'll just be like okay whatever and you know i think at the time she was giving us excuses if i remember correctly that oh she doesn't have money blah 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 aha uh -huh, so let me just take you guys back a bit that was even annoying for me because i'm like this girl is lying because what do you mean you don't have money honestly we when we go out we don't even really spend like that at the end of the day you guys already know what it's like you go out probably at the table sorry boys but boys are paid for the drinks and so you're just there to drink like there's no spending it's not like we even plan to go to a restaurant it was more like okay i'm just going to go here to have fun and so it would be nice you know if she came along like we just want to chill and so even with uber at the end of the day we would all say we're going to split but it will fall on one person's lap and maybe the person may not even ask for you to give the money that you owe the person so like that excuse was just too far-fetched for me i'm like babe babe babe, babe you need to calm down because right now this thing that you're telling me is like fables now i'm gonna talk about the resolve so after that after we had our talk i honestly felt like okay now that we've talked it out things are okay now you know things are going to go back to normal but then i guess that there was, there was just too much heads that went into everything and so the relationship just became strained like us coming back together it just wasn't organic and so we just had to leave things like let sleeping dogs like we just had to leave things as they were yeah some people put in effort some more than others whatever by the end of the day the harm had already been done and so these were the consequences of our actions now on to the lessons i would say that i have grown a lot from that and that experience has actually taught me something and i feel like in life they are seasoned and so like our season of friendship has ended uh and i mean that in a good way because i feel like maybe she was just supposed to be my life for a certain time and her time ended or that time came to an end even though yeah it didn't end in the best way we still run our race and we run a good race um i would also say that there should have been a better way of communicating like we we could have communicated better our communication was lacking it was not effective another thing i would say is that we haven't really we as women we don't really cherish female friendships even though those are the things that kind of keep us going female friendships are mostly sidelined you know that's why you see people say that you give that boy in your life ten thousand chances but a female you're ready to take out the scissors and just cut them off and it shouldn't be so i think we should we should cherish female friendships more and i think that this experience has made me cherish my female friendships a lot a lot more like by a <laughs> i mean right now i would die for my female friends like it would take a lot for me to cut you off a lot and that means if you did whatever you did for me to cut you off huh or more them, them swear for you because we do need people and i feel like we fail to realize that like we're, we're so quick to say i'm choosing myself and that's important but if what the person is doing isn't necessarily impeding your growth or i don't know something i don't know what it could be but that female friend don't cut her off just yet it shouldn't be because of a petty fight that you fall out with somebody who could change your life tomorrow and when i say change your life i don't even mean by you know what they can do for you financially or whatever i just mean 
contribute to your growth and so that's one of the biggest lessons i learned that you know with female friendships we shouldn't be so quick to cut off or you know so quick to be angry or so quick to let bitterness fill us up or so quick to be so upset you know we should just take things a bit lightly or a bit on a lighter note when it comes to our female friends or friendships like i went through a whole healing stage it was actually like a breakup and many of us pretend like we don't care to that extent about our female friends but we should care i did love this person and it was so hard letting go because i did i did go through a healing stage i had to heal from it i had to forgive myself i had to forgive her as well and I, I had to just move on and just say okay this happened this is where i fought it this is where she fought it and then i just had to move on i just had to pick myself up and go and so right now we're good i'm good this me saying the story isn't to blame anybody or say that oh it was your fault and i hate you or anything like that it's more of a me just trying to tell my story and you know let people learn from that experience because honestly it wasn't anything that we should have had any serious encounters or we should have had a falling out from but then it happened because you know we were just angry people we were not ready to listen we were just you know doing things to even please others rather than ourselves social media is a very toxic space when it comes to talking about things that have sort of hurt us emotionally if you don't take care people are going to bring out a side of you that you are not proud of and that's exactly what happened to me when the yolo thing was happening like people brought out a side of me that I shouldn't have ever let surface i hope that as i said my story you guys had a lesson that you have learned from it i'm going to wrap up this video i'm going to do my lashes off camera and then i'll come back and then finish the story time so i'm essentially done with this look i don't know if i mentioned that makeup online academy caters for all skin tones so it doesn't matter if you're fair dark white brown whatever the color of your skin is they got you guys and that's so amazing because it's practical I, I was worried at first when i started the class as to whether i would have skin that i could relate to but then they proved me wrong and so you guys all the information will be in the description box down below i hope that from my little story time you guys have learned a little something i feel like my makeup looks different if you watched my previous video i'm going to link it up there in the cards you you can clearly see a difference i mean i'm not yet perfect but i feel like there has been an improvement and that's really all that matters i'm still doing the course and there's so many things i'm still learning and so maybe in my next video you guys would, would continue to see my growth as we go along with many more videos like this one but then i hope that you enjoyed this video i hope that as i was doing my makeup you could follow along guys let me know what you think about my experience with this my friend this breakup as i titled this video was honestly a change in my life a very huge change in my life it caused my mindset to be different it made me see friendship in a different light and i just hope that you guys enjoyed this video as i enjoyed making it for you 